All right, guys. Today we are gonna be working on a live model, so um. I'm gonna get into a little bit of detail onto how to prep the nails because sometimes it's hard for me to prep the nails because I don't soak off my nails most of the time. So let's get into it. Actually, we're gonna do one hand first. And as you can see, we already trimmed her nails down. So her nails are trimmed. And I'm actually using, uh, when I uh, use my coarse bit on the nails, I usually use a medium grit. I like medium, coarse is too coarse. Coarse is used to cut down the nails. And um, medium, I, I like it for acrylic. And then a uh, fine bit, I like to use it for gel polishes. So I'm we'll gonna start out by prepping the nails. Let me make sure that I am in camera. So I am running my, um, my uh, drill at five RPM, very light. All I'm really doing is just removing all the shine from the nails. It should not cause any discomfort or anything at all. And with... I'm gonna use a cuticle bit on her nails as well because she does have some skin that's kind of stuck onto the nail plate. So I'm just gonna use my um, not polished cuticle bit to remove her skin. kind of lightly push it back and I'm just I'm gonna use my cuticle nipper to go in and remove any skin that's sticking up When I actually use a cuticle bit, this is a ball cuticle bit, a round cuticle bit to remove some of the skin first as well. And you can see that just coming off like that. Completely painless. <laughs> Those three bits, I actually all run it on the same RPM, which is like a five to six, still very slow. I'm just gonna lightly, just very, very light, dry, quick, um, a quick dry manicure. Usually we have a little duster to dust it off, but I don't have it. And I'm use this. And dust, dust, dust. We're gonna be using our long coffin tips. This is the non C curve, and this is my new favorite tips. And we start by measuring the nails. And as you guys know, I like my nails tip to be a smidge bigger than her nail plate. And I'm gonna go in and trim the edges to make sure it fit into the nail. And then uh, we're gonna have our glue drop one piece on top of one round bead on top of her nail plate. And when we push down, the glue should spread evenly, evenly across the nail bed. And then I always flip it this side to make sure that it's straight. And then if we're not too comfortable with using a, um, a scissor to cut the edges, I use my little hand file and I can just file the edges a little bit to make sure it fits onto the nails before I glue it on. And I know a lot of people like to use their sand and band to blend the nail tips onto the into the nail plate, but I do like to use my um, tornado bit running at the same RPM, which is like five or six, very slow, to blend it into the nail plate. 
the tip into the nail plate. I feel like with this one, it actually blends faster and less hot on the client's finger. Make sure we remove any part of the nail tip that's sticking up, okay? Like a little bit sticking up like that. You can see it. Make sure we blend it all the way down. I'm gonna trim the first finger first. She likes them a little bit longer first, and then we're gonna line it up cuticle to cuticle to make sure that it match. Kind of eyeball it a little bit. If you're unsure, make sure you clip it a little bit longer. So, a tiny bit more. And this one, cuticle to cuticle. Cuticle to cuticle. Seem like a little bit long still. Right, we're gonna go in and kind of file the edges just a little bit, very lightly. Okay, so before we put on the primer on the nails, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of acetone to make sure to make sure I remove all the oil or any of the makeup she might have gotten stuck on her nail without it's um we can't see it with our eyes so this one remove it all and usually i just prime five fingers at a time now we're going to use our triple x bond it's okay if you guys want to double prime as well so i'm going to prime one coat All right, guys, we are gonna be using a light sand. I love this new color. So this, I mean, not new color, but the new nude I'm using. And the M59, this is a beautiful red, the fire engine with the OMG collection um, 20. So this is a red glitter. I wrote it in permanent marker, so I don't know the name. And of course, we always have our clear powder in hand, um, on hand, so when we do this, we can encapsulate, right? I'm actually gonna have, um, Oh, we're gonna give it a light tap, tap, so the powder can fall down, fluff it towards us. Damn, recording. Um, so right now we're actually, I'm gonna go in with the more simple colors, uh, the simple nails to get that out of the way. So I'm gonna do a nude on this one, nude, and then usually I go with the crazier designs with these three. And um, I'm using it with the uh, not polished medium setting monomer. And um, I'm gonna have the jar and the the damper dish and the jar powder in view so we kind of switch it up so you can kind of see it a little bit. I kind of dinged the little tip on here, but that's okay. We're gonna extend it out with the acrylic. So, um, can you see, okay. Of course we have our bounty paper down. I'm gonna pick up a medium bead. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna hold it in place first before I let it go. And then push it upward. And when it's still kind of runny, it's runny because when we, uh, when it's colder, it's gonna be a little bit runnier. So when that happens, we're gonna just kind of push it in place, push it towards the center of the nail like this. And once it's set a little bit, then we can um, pull the product down. Because if we go to drag the product down now, we're gonna end up removing too much of the product. As you can see, I'm just kind of tapping it in place. See? And always hold your client's finger like at a downward angle. Like so, look how beautiful this nude is. What I love about this nude, it's actually perfect on any 
skin tone it, it kind of like adjusts itself to match the skin tone does that make sense so if we have like fair skin tone it, it, it make it like more of a pinker tone and if we have medium then it shifted to a little bit more brown and if we have more darker tone then it looks a little bit darker that's what i love about this color and i want to cut it off at the end just enough a little bit clean our brush dip in a little bit monomer and now i'm going to move the tip of the nail to make sure it's nice and square and then press it against the brush and then at this point I like to tilt my um, nail on the side a little bit so I'm kind of looking at this angle to make sure that is there's any part that is kind of dented or like uneven I'm kind of level it up before it's set so it's still kind of run it's still kind of wet right now so you still can um, level it back up push it back up anywhere that there's a, a dip or anything like that and that looks good i'm gonna let it set by okay and then now i'm gonna go in with my second bead i'm gonna hold it in place and let it kind of run into the cuticle make sure we point the finger downward okay especially when it's runny we want to point it downward down down hold it down make sure it runs towards the center of the nail and not on the edges of the um, the nail okay kind of clean the edges just a bit and again I'm pushing it towards the center of the nails once it's set a little bit I'm gonna drag it down like this and then I'm gonna clean on the edges a little bit tap it into place and again, I'm gonna look at the nail at an angle as well. I'm always looking at the uh, fingernails at an angle because when the product is still kind of wet, I can see where I kind of need to push the product towards more to kind of level out if there's any dip. You see how I can look at it like an angle? Before we finish it we make sure we clean any product that kind of run to the edges just a little bit okay it's kind of like gel polish right when it runs to the side we want to clean it up before we cure it just like powder if there's any product that runs onto the edges a little bit we make sure we clean it up before it cure itself right before it's set Once you get the powder to liquid ratio down, uh, it's acrylic is actually really fun to work with and quite easy once you get it down. But you can see how I made it pretty like even. There is no dip or anything like that. I think this is gonna be our um, last Christmas design for our YouTube channel. And um, it'll be Shauna last Christmas design as well. <laughs> you can 
see how the acrylic is still kind of wet so i'm just gonna like clean whatever needed to be clean mold the shape if i need to um, mold it but you can kind of see Okay, so now that it's already set in a little bit, I'm actually gonna tap it upward a little bit, okay? When we uh, do an acrylic cut-in, I do want you guys to apply the product a little bit on the thicker side, okay? I like it to, you can do it on the thinner side and then you can encapsulate the whole thing, but I like to do it on the thicker side. You see how this is shiny? You can see the shine. So when it's shiny like that, we're not gonna cut it because I'm gonna show you how it looks like when I cut it when it's shiny. What happens when it's too shiny and you make the cut, um, the cut is actually not going to be very uh, sharp. It's going to be like when you press down, you pull up, the acrylic will come up and stick to the knife. So we don't want that. Okay, now it looks a little bit matte. Then I'm going to go in and dip my X-Acto knife in a little bit of monomer. You can see, dip it in monomer and then I'm going to make the clean cut right here. Uh, I'm going to cut it this way. And then I'm going to drag it off the nail just like so nice and clean and again like we said if it's not super straight we can always go in and hand file the um the cut more straight right like if we, if we're gonna wait for that to dry and we can just use our hand file and we're gonna file it straight but i feel like my cut is fairly straight so i'm just gonna stick with that i'm gonna use my brush to kind of line it up a little bit more and then i'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit before i do my second color okay now i'm gonna go in with this glitter color and this is a red color when we use a really pigmented color on top of her natural nail we do want to put a thin layer of clear acrylic just to make sure um it doesn't stain her nail and the uh um retention is actually really better because when a powder is mixed with a lot of um, pigment what happens is um, it, it tends to lift a little bit easier so if you're using like a bright red or bright blue make sure you put a thin layer like this of clear on the bottom of the nails like this before we pull it down and this make it really easy for when you need to soak it off or file off the nails later on right so i put a thin layer of clear i'm speaking like Milian. <laughs> And then now, just a thin layer, and I apply about to 80% uh, of the nail, not all the way to the cuticles, because we don't want it all the way thick at the cuticle, right? Then that's good. We're gonna wait for that to dry before I do anything. And I'm actually gonna go in, uh, so it's with this glitter. I'm gonna press it against the um, the nude to make sure that it's lined up really nice against the nude, but not overlapping the nude, okay guys? If you accidentally overlap, it's okay. We can go in and clean it after as well with our wet brush.
and now we see that it's still shiny we're not gonna do anything with it um wait it turns matte a little bit and then we're gonna go in and make our cuts right make sure we clean our knife before we go in and make the cut because what if we have a little bit of acrylic stuck to it and you go make the cut that little bit of acrylic can make your line like not straight because it's gonna cause a dent in the cut and there if there's a dent in the cut it's not straight okay and now we're gonna go in and cut it Ooh, I'm gonna drag it off the nail Drag it off the nail. And then again, if it's not straight, we can go in with our hand file to straighten it. But I feel like it's a good cut for me. So I'm just going to use my brush with a little bit monomer on it. And I'm just going to make a clean, like the line a little bit more cleaner. And then we're going to go in with some of these snowflakes that we got on Amazon. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of. Kind of, but we're just going to put that on there because it's cute. And then now we're going to go in and encapsulate these two with our clear powder. And again, fluff the powder towards you so it, it, it it's nice and fluffy. How do I know when to clean my brush is when I'm pulling out the product just like this and then, then the product started sticking to the brush. That means we want to clean our brush because we might have some, our brush is not as clean, okay? So anytime we're pulling it down like this and we see that as we're pulling it down, the product is just kind of sticking to the brush. That means you clean your brush and then pull it down again. Straighten that out. Then I'm going to go with a smaller bead up top. You see sometimes when you go to pick up the bead, sometimes it just doesn't happen on the first bead and it's okay to clean your brush and get the actual bead that we need, okay? Don't just settle. Make sure it has to be good before we apply it on top of the nail. Anyways, anytime you have a one piece of sparkle like this, don't worry about it. Don't try to dig it off or anything like that. You're going to cause an indent in the nails and that's actually harder to fix. So anytime you have one sparkle right there, just wait till it dries. When you go to file, the nails will come off, okay? Sometimes you have clients that just always want to nitpick before we're done. <laughs> and um, we, uh, we have to tell them. So just wait until that is dry and then we go in and file it, okay? If my brush is clean, you can you can tell it's clean. If there's nothing stick to it, I just give it a nice clean with my towel and I kind of press it down and flatten out the brush. And this way, when I store it over time, the brush will flatten and then I don't need to pinch my brush. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our five and one cross bit to uh, pre-shape the nails. And this is how they look so far. And then again, we gonna we can use our, the pad of our fingers to kind of press down on the nail a little bit to release the powder that any powder that is stuck to the nails right the nail bed or the skin or anything like that just lightly pull on it and it will release it and same for around the cuticles you can go ahead and pull it up as well and it should release anything that's stuck to it any product that's stuck to the skin there you go and then 
This side we go down, downward. Uh, same thing for one first section second section third so first we're gonna taper it inward boom in in like this and the second the second area and then the third area the finger the hand over like this to make sure that it's straight this way sometimes we file on this way and it's not like super straight i mean we think it's straight but it's not straight until we look at it this way right and then um now i'm gonna look at it on both angle and at any um part of the nails that still look like is if it's uneven or kind of lumpy um that we miss with our e-file i can go in with my hand file and give it like a like give it a nice little hand filing downward so this way this um this left side my left side i'm gonna go down like this you see so kind of like downward like that so say we miss a spot or anything like that that's uneven that's gonna remove remove it we're gonna cure her um nails for 30 seconds I think I'm gonna do like a little bit of snowflakes and the little lights kind of wrapping through the French tips. I think that's a little bit different. Ooh. This red is beautiful. I'm gonna remove all the, um, the gel from the brush. That's why I'm doing this. What I did earlier is I kind of like lightly wipe off the gel a little bit on top of the nails. I mean around like on the, si the side wall because um, what happened is gel tends to run a little bit so it can ruin the shape. But I'm just wiping very lightly where it kind of shaped the nails a little bit but it wasn't enough to remove the paint off the nails. And I'm going to show you guys just that. The paint is not rub off but it's still, the shape is still really sharp. And then we, we always flip it around and look at it from this angle as well to make sure the French look pretty straight. Once that looks good, I'm going to go in and um, cure it. So why do I like to cure after each finger is because sometimes, um, especially when we're doing the French, when we go to paint on when we're done with this finger and we don't cure it we go to do the next finger the gel tends to run a little bit so it might just keep ruining the shape of the nail so that's why i kind of cure it for 30 seconds real quick and while i'm curing i just stare off into space like this and just smile and wait okay that's good and now we're done and now we're gonna do this one So I'm gonna paint on the little fine lines of the little light uh, string. So I'm gonna use my Not Polish XL art brush and um, you see how I kind of put it in there, it's kind of bended a little bit. Yeah, you see how it's bended. So what I'm gonna do is, like I showed you guys before, I'm gonna pinch it and then grab it and pull it in the opposite direction. And then pull it in the opposite direction. Now, it's a little bit more straight. Okay. 
what we did is you know i paint on the light the, the the lines of the light the little string and then i would cure it like just to be sure that if i mess up on my little light bulbs when i wipe it off it won't take off my black but you can see that i didn't cure it because again i i kind of cheated so i didn't cure it uh and then i just went ahead and placed my light bulbs in there but what if what if say what if i didn't cure it and I try to be, you know, I try to cheat my way through and go a little bit faster. What if I didn't cure it and I mess on the light bulb? Guess what? I had to wipe the whole thing off. So don't do as, don't do as I do, do as I say. Is that how it goes? <laughs> don't listen to me. Uh, don't listen to what I say, but don't do, sometimes don't do what I'm doing, okay? Before we cure the nails, we're gonna go in and sprinkle uh, white powder. This is 02 white powder directly on top of this wet design, right? Sprinkle, and I'm gonna flick it off, very lightly flick it off. And I'm gonna wait to see if the gel resurfaced. If it resurfaced, you're gonna see it become below a little bit shiny. Can you, can we zoom in? It becomes a little shiny. So what happened is, when the gel resurfaced, I'm gonna sprinkle another layer of the powder on top of it so the powder can actually absorb all the gel before we cure it what happened is if we cure it when the gel resurfaced what happened is um, instead of getting that like really matted finish with the snowflake like a, a really matte look you're gonna have like some shiny spot and we don't want that okay Okay, now we have the candy cane painted on. I'm gonna sprinkle the white powder on top of the wet gel again, flick it off, wait to see if it resurfaced, if it's, and then if it looks shiny, now the gel looks like it's uh, rising up into the air. To the, uh, the surface again, it's gonna be shiny and I'm gonna sprinkle one more time. I'm gonna flick it off. Now it should be matte and I'm cure. So, I am actually going to add a little bit of gems right along where this is at so it looks more of like a finished look. So again, I'm using the Not Polish um, Jewelry Gel. What I like about this gel is a non-cleansing gel top, okay guys? I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. Okay, now that is done. We're gonna go in with our matted top coat because we love matte top coat, right? Every time 
When I'm with you, my legs go weak, hey. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong. Is this the final look? Can we bring it in? And then we can flip it around this. Okay. Alright guys, that is it. This is the final look for the Christmas nails and the final nails for the season. Next time we're gonna do some Valentine nails and I'll see you guys later. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love.